Stan Jabalisco here. Today, March 31st, 2018, I was reading on npr.org about paradoxical drug reactions, in particular opium, how some people, when treated with opium in the hospital, actually get pain, the opium actually makes their pain worse. And uh, they were wondering, they were musing as to why this might be. Well, I have a history of, I'll admit, I have a history of some drug problems, notably alcohol and benzodiazepines. I did not ever allow myself to become addicted to opium, although I took it in very small doses at times for very short periods of time uh, to prevent that very phenomenon. And what happens is that over a period of time, the drug that you're taking tends to cause rather than relieve or worsen rather than relieve the symptoms or problems that you're taking it for. For example, you may take um, aspirin for headaches, or you may take uh, some sort of opioid for stomach cramps or benzodiazepines for anxiety, or you may drink because it, it relieves your tension and makes you more sociable. Over time though, some people, maybe not all, but definitely this specimen, will develop a paradoxical reaction phenomenon where you, ha you exhibit the problem that you need relief from, so you increase the dose of the drug you're taking to provide relief, and when you take that first dose, it actually gets worse rather than better. It takes a while for this particular phenomenon to evolve. It's, some people would call it addiction, but it's something more than just addiction. And I wonder uh, if any of you have ever observed this phenomenon in yourself or in someone else, particularly with alcohol, where you reach a point where you d develop jitters when you stop drinking. But if you take another drink, the jitters will actually get worse. It won't relieve them anymore. It'll make them worse. That happened to me uh, when uh, back in the 30 plus years ago when I suffered from the symptoms of one of the worst cases of alcoholism physicians had ever seen. They told me that. They told me I was a dead man walking. More than one told me that. And by a miracle of my higher power, which I choose to call God, I was saved, but it wasn't a pretty sight. Uh, I'm having a little bit of the same problem now with benzodiazepines, and also there's a drug uh, that relieves intestinal spasms. I haven't begun taking it in enough dosages to not high enough dosages to cause this problem. It does provide relief, but the problem comes bounding back. It, the drugs do not solve the problem; they mask the problem. And eventually, if you take them for long enough, many drugs, it seems, will make your problem worse. You take another dose, and it makes it worse. When you reach that point, you know you need some kind of help, or you are, as the physicians might say, a dead person walking, or maybe eventually, a dead person lying in the ground. Have you ever experienced that phenomenon with any drug, be it Tylenol, ibuprofen, uh, aspirin, or opium, morphine, benzodiazepines, uh, any kind of drug, even foods for some people will cause it, sugar, perhaps being one notable problem amongst certain types of people.
Just thought I'd throw that out at you on the day before April Fool's Day, which also happens to be Easter. I'm not going to try and make any uh, make any correlation there because it's just a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> Easter is no April Fool's joke. With that, I will say best regards, have a wonderful day, and so long.